Hello everyone and welcome back. So the world of large language model is moving really fast. A few days ago, Meta released Llama 3, which it said that it beats Mistral on almost all benchmarks, depending on the scale of the model. And today only, Microsoft has come out with Fee 3, a mini model with 3.8 billion parameters, which it says it's at par on benchmarks at Mistral 8 into 7 billion mixture of experts model and even GPT 3.5. Uh, which I think are very bold claims and but in this video what we are going to cover is the biggest claim of them all that it's better or you know at par with Llama 3 8 billion model so these are the two small language models 3.8 billion parameters in the fee 3 mini and 8 billion parameters in the Llama 3 new model and as you can see here across all benchmarks you can see it outperforms Llama 3 uh, 8 billion model so, uh, and in some cases it is at par with it, but in most of the cases it outperforms it on the benchmarks. So, in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to the test. I'm going to ask it three questions, three different category of questions, and compare the responses of both V3 Mini with 4K context length. So there's another one with 128K context length and Llama 3 Instruct model, 3 million Instruct, which is also compared here. Uh, in the previous video, someone did mention that I used Llama 3 8 billion, not the instruct version. So in this video, I'm going to use the instruct version. All right, let's begin. So let's install the libraries. So this is the needle in the haystack. The prompt does not matter. But in the prompt, you will see there is a randomly inserted sentence, Paneer Kadai is the dish of the day. And at the end of the prompt, I'm asking the question, after all the information, what is the dish of the day? Be very precise in your resp response. The objective of this is to uh, test the recall of the model. So we're going to run each of them first through the Llama model and then through the Fee 3 model. All right. And as you can see here, the prompt is approximately 2000 in token. So half the context length of Fee 3 small, uh, sorry, Fee 3 mini 4K and Llama 8 billion has, I think, 8000 token context length. Uh, so logging into Hugging Face. And then there's a pattern question, which is very simple for us humans. The pattern is fill in the black letter in the pattern 1, 8, 9, 64, 25, and 2, 1, 6. As you can see, it's an alternating pattern with the odd places having the squares and the even places having the cubed. So as you can see, 1, 1 squared, 2 cubed, 3 squared, 4 cubed, 5 squared, 6 cubed, and then 7 squared should be returning 49. So this is to check, you know, what is the reasoning in this LLMs. And then we have one coding question, which is a simple lead code question on SQL, which is to return the name of the manager with five or more reporting employees. So the primary objective is to see the coding awareness of these models. All right, so let's begin. So I'm going to import uh, the required packages from Transformers. And first, we're going to start with the Llama model. So I'm going to pass the Llama model ID here. Probably I'll need to restart my runtime as models already loaded in here. This should work pretty fast as I already have the packages installed. Then I'll just load in the model and I'm keeping the max new tokens as 256. Do remember that the larger you make it, the more the language model is going to generate tokens. So I'm going to define a pipeline, uh, pass in the model, the tokenizer, and the task is te text generation. And let's see the first response. The objective is to see whether it correctly answers the question which is asked or not. It's going to return a lot of unnecessary uh, text as well, but we are not concerned about that. What we need to check is the answer. Does it gives the right answer to our question? So as you can see, a lot of uh, but yes, here you can see what is the dish of the day, and it says yes, answer. Only Kadai is the dish of the day, and then since there's it wants to generate more tokens, it adds some unnecessary tokens, but it's okay. Let's check on the pattern uh, response. 
So right now we are testing Llama 3 8 billion instruct version. Okay, fill in the blank letter and then it mumbles off with Python, Python, Python. The pattern is obtained by squaring the numbers. So the answer is 36. So interesting, it realizes that, uh, you know, there is some squaring going on with the numbers, but it is not able to pick up the right response. But okay, it's from a small language model, I expect it to not solve this question. Um, and then finally, the SQL. Let's see whether it solves the coding question or not. And we have it, example one. Okay, again, there are a lot of, uh, you know, tokens which are unnecessary because it is trying to generate 256 tokens in response. But I see the SQL return e.name from employee as e, where e.id in select manager ID from employees. Okay, group by manager ID, okay having count star so the idea is correct but as you can see the manager id is null for the manager so it will not return john in this case but it does return some, but it does gives us some sort of sql and it uh, it adds delimiters to indicate where the sql response is so if you're building some tool you can you know extract this part from the delimiter and you can also, you know, give it the right ROM to get the response, but overall pretty good from an 8 billion model. Also, I'm using A100 GPU, so I'm not loading them in any quantized form. But what we need to do is restart runtime to clear up GPU memory. And we're gonna, re we're gonna rinse and repeat the same process, but this time we're gonna use the V3 small model. So runtime run before, change the model ID here. The objective is to compare the response quality from both the models. It's to basically test that was this small mini 3.8 billion model, I guess it is over, you know, overfitted to the benchmark, but let's see, I might be wrong. So our model is loaded in. And let's see in the text, where is our question? All right, it doesn't find it. So it fails on the needle in the haystack problem. What is the dish of the day? Be very precise in your response. And it prints out some text, but it never mentioned uh, paneer kadai. But as you remember, in Lama 38 billion, it got it correct. Let's check on the pattern recognition pattern recognition, how good is it at identifying patterns? Okay. All right, so it tries to, it uh, so Llama 3 says that it's on the squares and it, and this one it uh, correctly picks up on the cubing, but again, they both miss that it's a mix. The sequence is a mix of squaring, squaring and cubing the numbers. So uh, in this case, I will say that the response is equally bad or good, uh, depends on how you interpret it. And the most importantly, does it gives me a SQL response? Remember, Lama 3 gave us an SQL response, although I th think that it has some errors, but it gave you some starting point for your SQL, uh, you know, if you were writing the SQL code, you could use that as a starting point for your SQL queries, which is quite helpful when you're uh, just starting out with uh, database management. Again, all right, so it does not give me an SQL. What it actually does is that it creates a fake example, which is you know, it's okay if you want to create another example to test your query. 
but it does not return me the SQL. So on this aspect as well, I will say that the V3 mini uh, model fails to beat Llama 3 8 billion model. All right. So from my test, I will not recommend to use uh, V3 mini model over Llama 3 8 billion model. If and you can, it's a good model based from the responses. It's a good model, but only use it when you really are constrained with the hardware requirements. If you don't have enough compute available, but if you have compute available or you, you know, use Llama 3 8 billion in some kind of quantized form, I think it will still be better than the V3 mini model. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Like and subscribe.